So hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Shakira if you are new here and if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a perfume haul. Now I just believe that every woman and man should just smell amazing and I think a lot of people feel like smelling good is a luxury and I feel like you can smell good whatever your price range is so i'm probably going to split this up into two videos i'm probably going to do a video today's one's going to be more of the luxury perfumes that i have and then i'm probably going to do a more affordable perfume um haul i think the biggest difference between the price point sometimes is the longevity on how long they're going to last on the skin um, and I am no means a perfume expert I literally just buy what I like if I smell it I like it I buy it and yeah there's a few that I have on my perfume wish list that I don't have yet so there'll probably be some honorable mentions that I will include in the video on perfumes that I wish to buy but I mean I just haven't bought them yet and one other thing I will add as well is that do not buy perfumes for trends buy perfumes because you like the perfume I mean, I still have Britney Spears fantasy somewhere and I just like the fact that you, when you wear that, you smell like candy floss and I really couldn't care less what somebody else has to say because I like how it smells and that's my own. Before we get into that, if you haven't already, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel um, and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the family and know when I upload videos. <laughs> started I think I'm gonna start and I'm gonna go on my phone and get the details for the perfume because like I said I am not a perfume expert and I do not know so let's start with the K Ali oh as you can see I wear this perfume so often this I, re I actually wear this more as an everyday perfume and that's the question is there such thing as an everyday perfume an everyday perfume is whatever the hell you want it to be if you want to smell you know however you want to smell wear it whenever you want to wear it um this I got the vanilla I love like sweet kind of florally scents this is the 50 mil I believe but this perfume just smells, oof, like, I just, yes. That's the way I can just, like, you got to do the body movement. It's just like, yes. So it says here that the Kaylee Van Vanilla, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, the 50 mil is £67. Um, and the notes it says is a, is a Union Creamy Jasmine, rich, uh, sorry i really can't read rich madagascan vanilla orchard drawing out sweet softness of brazilian tonka this smells so good and i believe that when um she created these perfumes she created them to be layered um so sometimes i may this may sound like a weird layering i may layer it with like my tom ford black orchard I'm not a perfume expert I just do what I feel like smells good and the thing is as well you have to remember with perfumes they smell different on different people now nine times out of ten I spray perfumes on clothes just because I have extremely sensitive eczema prone skin and I just don't sometimes like putting perfume directly onto my skin and then I will get a reaction so a lot of times perfume is sprayed on the clothes but yeah, I absolutely love this. And I'm not doing this video in any particular order on my faves, perfumes. These are just whichever one I pick up at the time. Um, so seeing as I said I like to pair that, let's talk about the Tom Ford Black Orchard. I actually was given this as a gift. And I was convinced that this was a man's scent. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, but I get so many compliments when I wear this. Um, and I kind of... I would say learn or grown to love it and I mean I have to thank my friend for getting it for me because the compliments I get yes so let me see what this says so the 30 mil it says here it retails for 59 pounds um and what does it say about the scent oh you're not going to tell me anything so it says that the top notes are jasmine gardenia black currant lemon bergamot uh mandarin and tuberose i hope i said that right 
and it's quite clear I'm liking when it has the jasmine scents in it oh this is so nice like I absolutely love it and the two these two mixed together do actually smell really nice so those are those two so then next I'm gonna go to my black opium now this one's almost finished and I do have this is where my perfumes usually are. I do have another kind of mini one here. But this is the Black Opium by YSL. Again, this one, someone smells it on you. They're going to be asking you, what are you wearing? That's just what I've experienced. And I have, apps. I really like this. And as you can see, I like it because this one is finished. Well, it's pretty much finished. I need to throw it away. I believe this is the 50 mil that I had in this. And I think the other one there is 30 mil, I believe. Yes, that's correct. That's 30 mil. The 30 mil retails for 56 pounds, and the 50 mil. I keep on looking at it like I don't know. The 50 mil retails for 80 pounds, um, and the top notes are pink pepper, orange, uh, pink pepper, orange blossom, and the heart notes are jasmine and coffee, and the base notes are vanilla, uh, patchouli, and cedarwood. I love this. Oh, this perfume is just. And the thing is, I would say this is more of a nighttime perfume. Just because maybe it's, I don't know what it is in, the, in there that just makes me feel like, maybe it's the coffee that just makes it seem like really rich and something I would wear. I wear this more like when I'm going out. It's more of a nighttime-y perfume for me. You will see from my perfumes, I wear my perfumes. Like, I'm not someone that doesn't use my perfumes. And a lot of the perfumes I've accumulated over a few years. Um, and yeah this is my armani c there is not much left of this i definitely need to re-up on this perfume this perfume again is one that i would typically wear more in the evening times this just gives me grown woman this gives me sexy this gives me i'm about my business i'm a boss i know that they have different types of the armani c but the one that i have so i've got this again this is a 50 mil and the 50 mil retails for 78 pounds and it says that the top notes are black currant liqueur, the heart notes are rose de my absolute and frisea. I'm gonna have this somewhere because I'm butchering these names. And the base notes are patchouli and oak moss. Again, like I said, this is very, it's just very sexy. That's just the best way I can describe this perfume. It's just sexy. So another one I have is the Chanel Chance. This, I mean, this is my baby. I've had this perfume for such a long time. This is more of a florally scent, um, a bit different than the other perfumes that I've shown. Um, and this, when I think of this perfume, I think of summer, I think of spring. I just think of, it's like a light daytime perfume that I can wear. That is what I think of, and I feel like, unlike the others, I've been very sparingly with this because there's a story behind me buying this perfume, and I just want to cherish it. That's why this one's not, like, down to the dusts like the other perfumes are. This is the... I should note as well, I believe that this is the... Uh, do, this. Uh, I mean, when I tell you I've had it for... This is the Udu uh, Toilette, and I believe that a lot of these are Udu uh, Toilette. But if you want a more intense smell, definitely get the um, Eau du Parfum. But the 100ml is £102. And the notes... Oh, does this one not tell me the notes? It just says it is, a it is a floral fragrance in a round bottle. If I can find the notes, I will um, put the notes somewhere on the screen so you can know what the notes are. But this is definitely a florally perfume and another perfume if i'm just going to do an honorable mention here i really want to get the chanel mademoiselle i had a sample of that and when i tell you i said i need to buy that perfume that perfume smells so nice so that is definitely on my perfume wish list to get the chanel mademoiselle so next i have this one looks real dusty. I mean, I couldn't tell you how long I've had it. It's the Jimmy Choo Illicit. This is another florally scent. I'm literally down to the end of this. So this one for the... What do I have? Well, I have the 
100 mil of this and the 100 mil was 85 pounds and i think compared to some other 100 mils it's more on the affordable side if you want to get the 40 mil that is 45 pounds i've got my laptop out now so that's why i'm looking down um and they got this right 60 mil 29 pound that's why it says notify me when in stock because that don't make no damn sense um but this perfume besides the dust that's just come off of it i haven't worn it in a while but again it's another spring summer really nice florally scent i'm gonna find what they say about the notes so the top note is ginger the heart note is rose and the base note is honey amber accord like i said if you mm. yes this is and i still feel like Maybe it's the rose and the, no, maybe it's the honey and the ginger that just gives it that really nice sweet art. It's just so nice. Um, let me see actually if there's any more that they say about it. A fragrance lady, family, warm, powdery, rich. So here's me chatting crap. It is not florally. So it says, actually now I spray it. I don't know what I was talking about. This is not floral. Um, a... It's warm, powdery, rich, and a musky fragrance. Perfect for the evening and winter months. This is what I mean by I don't know nothing about no perfumes because I just told you to wear it in spring and here it clearly tells you to wear it in the winter. But now that I smell it again because I haven't worn it in so long, I would say it is more evening-y. It's more one that you can wear at night. It is... Hmm, why haven't I worn this in a while? This is very sexy. It's very nice. And I really like the shape of the bowl. I couldn't tell you what happened to the lid. Like I said, I've had this for a long time. Um, and I just don't know. So next I have the Valentino. I think this is Donna or Dona. Donna perfume. Again, I'm sure this has a lid. Maybe it doesn't. This is such a nice perfume. I think maybe this is what I was confusing the Jimmy Choo Illicit. Because I think... This is the more florally perfume. So that is that I got them confused. So this I have in a 50. Yes, I have this in a 50 mil. And it says here that the 50 mil is 77 pounds. The 100 mil is 112 pounds. Um, and if we go to the notes, the top notes are grapefruit accord, bergamot essence, black currant accord. The base notes are patchouli essence, vanilla accord. Praline Accord, the heart notes are Rose Essence, Rose Accord, Peach Accord, and Iris Accord. And it says, Floral Perfume offers a celebration of women, their romance, femininity, and grace. Yes. it's And I feel like it's it's got a hint of floral, but it's still quite, I don't want to say musky, but it's still very sexy. Like, I, personally, like I said, I wear perfumes morning, noon, and night. It doesn't really matter to me, but this is still maybe you would more go towards the evening times to wear this perfume versus wearing it in the daytime but again it's very sexy and i feel like it's something that every girl should kind of have in their their perfume arsenal uh where should i go next okay so next i'm gonna go with this little darling here it is the Louis Vuitton Rose Devents perfume. Now, I was actually lucky enough to go to a Louis Vuitton event. I mean, I don't know if I should even be saying that. Um, and I was actually given this, and it was so cute. This is, I think they do sell these, but they maybe, they don't sell them in singulars. You have to buy them in, like, a little tub or something. If I find a picture of it online, I will put it there. But they, I was lucky enough to get one of these for free. I was lucky enough to get one of these for free um, and it just allowed me to kind of know what I like and what I don't like and I love the perfume. They also gave me like a handful of testers of some of the other fragrances um, and there are a few others that I want to get from Louis Vuitton. Um, I'll probably just pop a picture up of them because I don't have them in front of me. But this reminds me of the Chanel, the Chance uh, by Chanel. This is such a beautiful floral fragrance. I know I've got this one right. I know this one is floral. But this one is pricey. So if you can, and I'll put the details for the mini ones that you can get like this. If you can get these mini ones, definitely do that. 
the 100 mil is 200 pounds but what i believe is that you can um actually get your name engraved on the 100 mil ones and then just refill the bottles so it's definitely worth it it's pricey but it's definitely worth it um and the 200 mil which according to louis Vuitton's website is out of stock is 305 pounds um it says that the um the fragrances are things i cannot pronounce <laughs> Um, rose Absolute, Turkish Rose Essence, Bulgarian Rose Essence, Italian Iris, and Gin Cedar. I think that's what it says. I can't actually see. Um, I'm going to put it all below because I'm not trying to mess up what it says. But this is a sexy floral. Like It just smells so nice. You feel like you're in a bed of roses. And yes i definitely like this and because it is like this i have it i do you know just do a little little dab never rub always dab and you will smell so nice and i've even mixed my two my chanel and this one together but i will say they're kind of in that same family if you like the chanel perfume you will like this perfume and if you like this perfume you will like the chanel perfume so next i have the ysl libra libre i mean my girl was wearing this and i said oh what have you got on because that smells good and i had to get it um i've got mine in a 50 ml now this is a pricey perfume the 50 ml is 72.99 the 90 ml is 104 pounds and the 150 ml is 140 pounds so yes but with this perfume i mean just beware that there are going to be other girls smelling very similar to you because this is a perfume of the now it says that the top notes are um mandarin black currant and petty grain it's these lashes i can't read and i will say before i carry on this is a night time this is i'm going somewhere even if it's not night time i'm going somewhere and i'll be using this one sparingly um, the base notes are vanilla, cedar, and amb ambergris, musk. You wouldn't believe I've been a radio presenter, the way that I cannot pronounce anything. Um, the heart notes are jasmine, lavender, orange blossom. Okay, so we're just down to the last few now. So I have the Lancome, what is it? La Vies Belle. This one is, again so nice oh it just smells yummy that is how i'm gonna describe this one as yummy i so happy i bought this i actually want to get a smaller one as well for like when i'm traveling like well who's traveling but when i'm going out one i can just kind of slip in my purse because this one i have as a gift set and i've got like a small little one that i can travel with same with my armani c i do like when they give you the little travel size ones but let's get the deets on this perfume first so the 100 mil for this is 99 pounds 50. can you stop giving me pop-ups please lancome and it says that the fragrance notes are there's iris the top notes are pear and blackberry the heart notes are um iris concentrate orange blossom jasmine sandback absolute base notes heart patchouli and essence and i would say like i say wear your perfumes whenever you want to wear them so now i have the jean paul gaultier perfume scandal this was actually a gift as well actually some of these were gifts i never mentioned that they were gifts some of these were gifts um and this i believe is the Oh, I think this is the 50 mil and it says here on this particular website that the 50 mil retails for 68 pounds um, and the top notes are honey accord blood orange God um, the heart notes are gardenia the base notes are patchouli black vanilla and ambrox and this is beauty in a bowl this is another state um, statement perfume if you wear this people will ask you what are you wearing i definitely can smell the honey in this perfume and the honey is oh it is a top note and you can definitely smell that that may not be for everybody i like smelling like candy floss i just like smelling sweet 
and yummy and yes a lot of these perfumes i will wear them and my boyfriend will be like oh what do you have on today because that smells good and that's kind of what i want like i want him to be like oh yeah i want him to like want to bite me you know what i mean like that's that's what you want the lady million oh my uh uh ooh, or a i did study french you wouldn't believe it um my gold i have this one here and this one I believe this is 50 mil and it's only telling me what the 100 mil so no the 50 mil 50 mil retails for 52 pounds the top notes are mango and grapefruit the heart notes are violet leaf orange blossom the base notes are cedar heart ambery musks and yeah this is such a nice it's not fresh like it's just i'm just gonna say that everything's nice because i own it and i just think that they're nice um but it says let's see what it says here it's an exotic note of mango and grapefruit this fruity fragrance is enhanced by negroni notes orange blossom essence and blended with musk and cedarwood for a fresh alluring and exhilarating fragrance oh i was it is fresh so yeah this is i haven't smelled this in a while i haven't worn it in a long time so i'm just chatting but this is it is fresh and fruity you know when you smell a perfume and it just brings back so many memories i actually need to re-up on this because now that i've just opened the lid and smelt it i want it again another one that's pretty much finished is the daisy mark jacobs this is i feel like you should just have this in your collection just cause um and it's definitely one that I'd be wearing in spring, summer. Into floral, like the Chanel and the Louis Vuitton fl floral. This, this smells like, you know those purple sweets that you get in the, um, the big purple sweets. I'm gonna put a picture of it. That is what this reminds me of. That is what this reminds me of. Oh, it is so nice. Let me see if I can find the notes. I'm probably not on the right website that's gonna give me note specifications actually says the top notes are wild berry white violet the heart notes is a jasmine infusion and the base notes are sandalwood um the 50 no i have 50 mil but it currently says here that the 100 mil is 60 pounds that is it for everything that i actually have in front of me um and some of the honorable mention perfumes that i want to get is the joe Mal let me open my phone my phone just died so some other perfumes i want to get i'm probably not going to be able to tell you the notes just because but i do want to get the joe malone london red hibiscus oh i went into the shop i smelt that and it is so nice but that's more giving me like sexy evening wear it when you want because i will um and i also want to get the yellow hibiscus that's definitely giving me more like spring daytime fresh still really sexy perfume if i'm correct the 100 ml i've just typed it in is 134 pounds for the 100 ml so a bit more on the pricier side um and i'm gonna say it's the same for the yellow hibiscus as well i also want to get the joe malone is it the red poppy let me type that in joe malone scarlet poppy i'm seeing here that that is 86 pounds for the 50 mil like i also mentioned i want to get the chanel mademoiselle i haven't typed that in but i can only assume it's going to be around the chanel chance the chance by chanel price um but i'll have the price and everything for all the perfumes that i have below um i also want to get also want to get i mean every girl has got this perfume now the mason francis baccarat rouge 54 i hope i said that right and there is another one my phone has died and i cannot remember the name of it i mean i would have to search on the web and i'll probably put a picture here if i can remember the one that i want that i want those two those two they smell so good i definitely want those but those perfumes i mean they are on the pricier side the 70 mil is for the baccarat i hope i'm pronouncing that because it doesn't really to be to be honest i don't really care if i'm pronouncing it right or no i'm still gonna buy it 
it's £215. Um, and I think the other one is around 165 I definitely will let you know what that perfume is. Those are a few of the ones that I want to get now. Um, and yeah, so I feel like this video has been everywhere. <laughs>